Okay, so today we're going to learn how to create a gel type text effects just like the one that we're looking at here. Okay, so to get started, the first thing we want to do is create a new image and we'll just make it 800 by 600 and hit OK. Then we want to fill the, using our paint bucket tool, fill the background with black. Then we want to go into filter, artistic, and plastic wrap. And then just, I'm just using the settings highlight strength 10, detail 12, and smoothness 6. And then I'm just going to hit OK. Now I'm just going to keep applying that plastic wrap filter until we get some wavy, watery type effect. You can compress Control F to keep applying it, and it will just go like that. Okay, so that should be enough. Now what we want to do is, um, with our text tool, change the foreground color to white, and then type in our text. Okay, and then you can use the Move tool to reposition that, like so. And then to bring up this character window, you can go into Windows and then Character. So I'm using the font Arial, font size 150 and regular. So now we want, what we want to do is we want to go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur and it will say this layer must be rasterized so you just say hit OK. Then we're just going to do it as a radius of about 3 and then OK. Then we want to drag this layer down to here to duplicate the layer and then we're just going to hide that layer for the moment and then we're going to select on the first text layer and just change the opacity to about 6 or 60, 70, 80 just so it's a bit blurry and you can't really see it that well. So I'm just going to put it at about 80 for this example. And now, whilst holding shift, we want to click on the background layer to select them both. And then right click and select merge layers. And then what we want to do is go into image adjustments, hue and saturation, tick colorize. Just give it a color that you would like. And then hit OK. Now what we want to do is go into Image, Adjustments and Levels and then we want to just drag this black one down here like so and probably the grey, move the grey just a little bit down just like that and move the black a bit more. Now you can see that the text here is a bit sort of light. If, if you put the opacity a bit lower before we made the change it would be a bit darker. So I'm just going to use these settings here and then just hit OK. Now what we want to do is holding the control key click on the top text layer that's hidden and then go to select modify expand and then you just want to expand that like 5 to 10 pixels depending on how much of the letters you want to be cropped and then we want to go select and then inverse and then press the delete key and go select and deselect so that's given us our text here that looks like it's sort of watery glowing cut type thing. So what you can do with this now is um, if, if you're happy with it like this well then that's it you don't have to do anything more but if you just want to make a few more changes you can make this top layer visible and um, just adjust the blending options by right clicking select blending options and then just having this mode selected and just using a down arrow just to see if there's any sort of blending options that you might like. So if you wanted a bit more highlighted you might select overlay or if you wanted a bit darker you might select soft light. It's probably for the darker it's probably better to select hue and then that gives us that sort of darker rounded look and then
you can go a step further and changing the blending mode to overlay and then holding control and clicking on this layer here to make the selection and then go select modify expand by five pixels hit ok and select the background layer and go into filter artistic plastic wrap and then I'm using the settings 20 14 and 9 and then just hit OK and then go to select and deselect and then that will give you that rounded flame type effect there okay I hope this has been a help to you thanks for watching